channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a thrift haul type video. So to start off with, I picked up a couple of pieces of clothing, shop shopping for the last couple of weeks. The first one and probably my most favourite to date, honestly, <laughs> is this purple cardigan type thing it's a jersey fabric really nice violet color and I found it at down the street at one of my local op shops it's a size 20 and I wear it like a loose loose baggy kind of situation and I yeah it's my favorite right now <laughs> I think it was like So there's that one and then I went out to Sortel the other week and I jumped oh, and then I went into the op shop there the Anglican op shop and I was drawn straight towards this skirt it's definitely handmade there's no tags or anything like that looks handmade to me. I'm not sure of the sizing but it's, it's bigger than my waist so the plan for this one is I'm just going to alter the elastic bring it in to fit me and then I'll wear this as a high-waisted skirt which would actually probably look really good with this this jacket mm. like that vintage fabric that's that's synthetic but polyester but it's not itchy it's not the itchy kind it's nice and soft it's actually nice it's actually a nice soft fabric and this was five dollars and the next thing I found at the same op shop in Sortel I'm obsessed with corduroy at the moment and I'm trying to I'm trying to find corduroy related pants and I actually found these bright pinky probably magenta red corduroy jeggings they are and I have to try them on as well so I'm not sure if there's anything I need to alter with them but I thought that was a pretty good find as well and they were only four dollars all right so next up um it's not in this time back <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, so with this bag, um, essentially what happened was people were giving away their clothes and I got to go hunt through this, these bags and bags of clothes and find, grab some things and I'll show you the things that I've tried on and these are the things that I've kept to alter. I've kept a couple other things that I'm not going to alter. And I'll put them in the video to show you as well. So what I was looking for when I was searching through this, these clothes was um, not just stuff, something I could wear now, but something I could alter, something I could use the fabric for, um, something I could keep in my studio because I intend on doing um, alteration type classes um, for teenagers and adults in the future. So I just going to have a box of clothes that can be reused and upcycled in whatever way they need so that's all in this bag so I'll show you I've tried them all on I'll put my try-ons around to let you know and the point of this video is to try and hold myself accountable to my plans for this bag of stuff <laughs> so that I actually do follow through and do it first one is this Little on top, and I thought this was this would be really nice to wear to work. Um, however, it's got that weird crossover slouchy thing, so I'm probably just gonna 
stitch that up so that it doesn't flap open and then it'll be wearable for me. So the next one I grabbed was this top. The only reason I grabbed it, it's not really my style, but it has these really nice embroidered flowers on there and it's just really, really nice and soft cheese clothy type fabric. And this is from Tree of Life. So this will go in my alterations box for my studio. This one I grabbed, it's a pretty simple billabong singlet, but it's 100% cotton so the fabric is really nice and light. It's good for summer and it's billabong. So I thought either this could be a bodice for a dress, so I would just start a chop it there and add some skirt to that to make a dress or the fabric's quite nice it would actually make something really nice and flowy for my three year old so probably a cute little dress just this really simple dress could cut out from that fabric and just use the fabric that's going to go in my pile my alteration pile next top is this now this isn't my style either but i picked it up because once again i could use this as a bodice for a dress or if one of my students need to would like to they could use this as the bodice of the dress and then they could attach their own skirt or shorts to make it a um, play suit the next one i grabbed was this skirt now i really like this in general i like this style uh, it's missing a button and it's a little bit too small for me so I think and too short so it could definitely use some, some length added to it so if there's a way that I could change out the buttons and add some extra length then I think it will fit me and I'll wear it because it's like a nice winter skirt with some tights or something like that. All right, this one is a shift dress. And it's by Everybody Talks. And it's not my colour, not my pattern either. So I was thinking of that the fabric is really nice and that this, this mustard colour would really, really suit my two year olds skin and um, complexion and hair so I was thinking of using the fabric I'll use that to make her a dress so that's the plan for that one this one I like but it's doesn't have a brand doesn't have a tag it's I think it's supposed to be a tunic top because when I tried it on it, it's way 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 short but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to turn it into a crop. So I'm just going to chuck it on, crop it where it fits so I can wear it with high-waisted jeans. And then I can just use the leftover fabric for pattern, um, for pockets and things when I make my own dresses. Next up is this Roxy dress. And... Which I didn't like. I don't. I didn't really like. I liked all the fabric that was, and I liked this shade of green. But when I tried it on, it actually was all right. The only thing I was going to change, or I will change, is it's got a handkerchief hem, which I don't. I don't like. So I'll just straighten that hem out, and I'd wear that as a dress on its own. Next up in the bag is this pair of. Now, I really liked the floral purple flowers and all that sort of stuff, but it's like, I tried it on and it, was, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit at all, but I think what I really like to do is to have a go at um, turning these shorts into a skirt and then adding more length with a different kind of fabric. So 
So that'll be the plan for that. The next one is this play suit. Now I like the fabric and I like the style and it sits really nice. It's got the elastic waist, but it's too short. So um, being a mum, <laughs> I'm not really into bending over and my mum says, people being able to see what I've, I've had for breakfast. <laughs> So I want to add length to this somehow and that might just be a ruffle, might be lace, um, somehow, somehow I wanted to lengthen that. This one is going into my alterations box. It's a really nice flowy soft fabric, um, it's just a nice top but I've I think it's supposed to be a dress, but it's, but it's really, really short on me, so. And we come to these shorts. Now, I tried these on, and they do fit, but they all are short. Once again, they're short. I'm either going to um, turn this into a skirt and then add some extra length. That's probably, that's probably actually what I'm going to do. Turn into a skirt and add some extra length with like a contrasting fabric or something like that, and then that'll be wearable. Okay, I grabbed this one. So this is a cotton on standard cotton on um, textured woolen jumper, but it's like that. It's like a brownie green. It's not a nice olive green, and it's not. A Brown. It's this. It's that strange in between green and it's kind of poopy. Anyway, my um, my son wants me to try to create a jumper for him out of this. So that's the plan for that one. So that's going to be a pretty interesting hack if I can get that sorted and worked out. That'll be pretty cool actually. Now, next one is this shirt from Hot Dotty. Dotty collared shirt, cropped. So this also I'd wear with some high waisted pants to work or anything like that. But the problem with it, it's, it's pretty good when you look at it like that. <laughs> and you turn it around. Whoop whoop. Nope. <laughs> it's got back holes. So the easiest fix for that is I'm just gonna sew. I'm just gonna sew those random back holes up <laughs> and make it a proper shirt. Now we've got Debbie, Debbie Dabby. Have you heard of that brand? So this is a really nice um, lightweight maxi dress. The only thing is, it's got a ginormous. got a ginormous slit in it so I think what I was going to do was just sew the slit up um, not all the way because you still need a little bit of room to move to walk but enough for it to not be weird. <laughs> I think I'm coming to the end of the bag bottom of the bag yep so the last one This is my probably my favorite style of skirt. The button down, you can wear it on your waist. Wear it on your waist. <laughs> um, it's just from Kmart, but it's just a little bit too big, so I need to alter that by um, adjusting the elastic at the back. And that's a pretty quick, pretty quick fix. That's pretty much it for my thrift slash I got clothes given to me all. I'm going to attempt some of the alterations now and I'll take you along for that process.
watching and hopefully I'll see you next video. Bye. See you modeling. Boop, boop. Ha 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 ha!